There is nothing between us and that glacier right there. So I am not worried in the slightest. Let me try it. Mm. So refreshing. <laughs> so refreshing and cold. to a Durkis. You ready? Yes. Yeah, Supposedly a three hour trek. We will see. If there's no trails, a three hour trek turns into a nine hour. But hopefully there's some trails. Yeah, it looks like it. Just, we'll have to see. So how you doing today, B-Man? Uh, good. Yeah, you trekked for 10 hours yesterday without any meals, just some snacks. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. But you did fine. You're feeling good today? Yeah. Yeah, it seems like your cough's almost over, too. You're actually getting better and healing. But the, yesterday, the heat wasn't as bad, was it? Yeah. Okay. B-Man, was it the first time you went poo outside on this trek? Yeah. Wow. How was it? Interesting. Was all the other uh, poo in the poo spot freak you out? Not really, because there's this rock that I could, like... Uh, uh, stand on and poop off of. Nice. <laughs> All right, well, that's the reality of uh, pooping on the uh, K2 Base Camp trek, is that uh, there's a rock right over there that everyone poos behind. Trail starts out very steep from Kabutze to uh, Hudurkis. So as soon as you get up, whoo, straight up and not much of a trail right away. But then slowly after that, you get one. All right, we're back on the glacier. Except for this time, there's a lot more clear ice poking up. And once again, no real sign of a trail. Uh, just keep going to the left of that big rock over there. Who? Wahid? Yeah, he's back with Tyler. Oh, he's back there. Okay. Yeah. Wow, look at all this ice. Okay. Yeah. Now we're finally hitting it. Okay, so look off to your right, B-Man, way over there. That's where the people are, so start working your way to the right. Okay. We are sort of following people, so we're not just out on a glacier with, uh, you know, that hasn't been trodden before. 
is just oh my gosh there's so many of these valleys with the glaciers stuck in the middle of them I mean, so many like countless like dozens and dozens yeah it's like every time we trek more than hours a new one I mean we are officially on ice here Wow. Oh, that is gorgeous glacier water for such a trek where it's so hard to find water. That's like a fountain of youth right there. Oh. Wants to get, some in his bottle. get some glacier water in your bottle? Yeah. Yeah, go to town. And then I want a drink of it. Oh, it's not deep enough just to submerge it? Nope. Oh, it's clear and beautiful. Yep. Should we stir up in it? No. This is, this is right off of the glacier. Yeah, this is hundreds of years old water. This is, there, there is nothing between us and that glacier right there. So I am not worried in the slightest. Let me try it. Mm, so refreshing. <laughs> so refreshing and cold. So good. Fill it right back up. Oh, yeah. Me man's a glacier water fan. Volcano. Oh. How do you think the mountains got here? And here we go. Super steep climb right off the glacier. That's awesome, yeah. huh? Look at that. That is army camp. Oh, okay. Our camp is just this way, more this side. I don't see the army camp. Like, <coughs> this is that red and black? That's army camp. Oh, up there? Okay. Yeah. Okay, and, and where's... Just further up? <coughs> no, down. Down. Okay. Wow, look at that huge mountain right there. You can kind of see the peak of it. It's yeah. bigger than any mountain that we see. So far. Yeah, that's a big mountain there. <coughs> yeah. Well, Heed, what is that big that's mountain? Four, 4G. 4G is the big mountain. Oh, 4G. And, and up there is a like Concordia. <coughs> then you can see Broad Peak K2 G1. So right along the Batoro yeah. Glacier. And then you see this is Great Tango, Tango, Olubiapo, Payu Peak. Okay, oh, Paiu Peak is the pointy one? Yeah, the pointy one. And then Tango's or the... Alubiapo Peak. Alubiapo, oh, okay. Yeah. Tango, Great Tango, then Tango, tell you see behind? Like yeah. Both that one. Okay. Yeah, and look, so there's a glacier down there runoff, there's a glacier right there runoff, there's a glacier right there runoff, there's glaciers on the right, on the left, there's tons of glaciers. <laughs> so, so, I wonder if you get, uh, 
4G on 4G. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I think you get no G on 4G. Don't worry, honey, I'm getting it. These guys. Oh, that's just a bush. Yeah, but it's pretty. Yeah. Shiny piece of Urticus. Yes. This peak is called Urticus. Like our camp. Yeah, our camp, Urticus. Ur Urticus camp, Urticus peak. peak. Yeah. That's uh, got a nice little waterfall up there. Yeah. yeah. And another glacier running <laughs> into the Baltoro Glacier. Yes. Unbelievable. And then there's one behind you. Yeah. <laughs> So that's like 6,500 meters ish, not 7,000, but lower, so lower than 7,000. Yep. So many glaciers. Mountains are like the great equalizer. It doesn't matter who anyone is or what they do. Jimmy Chen. We're at the beach now all of a sudden. All this sand. Isn't that interesting? Huh. And camp is right up on the cliff there. Right up in there. Short day. Shorter day anyway. Huh. This way, Beeman. Huh? That's fine. You can go that way. Uh, actually. Right? Do you see it more over there? Yeah, this way. I got, I got confused. There's a tiny purple flower. Yeah. Right here? Oh, Little bitty yeah. flowers. All this greenery. Wow, this is nice to trek through here. I, I love this color. So peaceful right here. Yeah. Right here by this lake. We're getting ready to arrive at Erdurkis camp. So that it can uh, seed and make more flowers. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Nice. What? You see that tree? Yeah? Cracked that rock right in half. It did, didn't it? Alright, here's our Durkus, which will be our stay for tonight, after only three and a half hours of trekking. Wow, talk about easy compared to the other ones. I mean, yeah, we did have to climb up that hill, but, uh, and we had to climb from all the way up there, but very good. Yeah, bud. Wow! Holy moly! Welcome to Hotel Adapter. No kidding, huh? Jeez! That's awesome! <coughs> Cuff trap? Uh, sure. Okay. Hello.
go, bro. Uh -oh. Have a good day? Yeah. Good. Oh, right on the edge there, huh? We're just discussing falling off. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I saw him get on. I was like, oh, buddy, please sit down. Because <laughs> I'm a dad? That whole deal? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <coughs> Like if Kate gets on the edge, I'm like, ah, she's grown up, she can handle it. You can like run down here because it goes to the edge. If you fall, it's kind of hard to get on your feet. So is there people at the army base, do you know? Yeah, the Wahibs are there most of the time because the Chinese border is just over there and the Indian border is just over there. So Chinese border this way, yep. Indian border this way. Okay. The camps on the way to Concordia. Okay. Basically, and he said he doesn't know about winter, but definitely the rest of the year they're all there. Okay. It gives me a little pause on flying the drone. Surely that way would be okay. Yeah, but still, like if I'm coming back and they, I don't know, I'll ask Wahid. Did you draw, did you fly it while we were on the glacier hiking? Uh, no, I didn't fly it near the other army camp. Is that if that's no, 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 I mean just on the. No, no. That would be cool. Yeah, it would be cool. I, fl I flew it this morning, so I had, I had it. <laughs> yeah, so I definitely had glacier in there, but uh, stopping to fly the drone is when you're already in the back, you know. All right, so we're at uh, Erdurkis camp, sitting here chilling. Uh, what time is it, B-Man? It is 1.23. B-Man is our resident uh, time giver. Um, so that's pretty good. So less than four hours um, mm -hmm. making it here. Mm -hmm. So three, three and a half. Yeah, but there wasn't any changes in the glacier that they had to change the path. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the main reasons, like four hours was added on yesterday, is because the glaciers moved and both, uh, and therefore the path moves. So uh, anyway, I, I was sitting here and I was taking off my uh, ACE bandage, elastic bandage. We call it an ACE bandage. Do you call it anything else? Elastic bandage? It, yeah, it's just an elastic bandage. ACE is the main company that makes it that okay makes so they're they're kind of got their branding in anyway yeah. so i uh had to put this on the other day and start wearing it because my uh, ankles because of the terrain is so i mean sand and rocks and just you know no there's no hardly any hard packed terrain that uh, it actually hurt my ankles and i've never had any ankle problems ever in fact if you look I'm wearing the exact same shoes as I wore on the EBC trek. The lady here is wearing boots, and the B-man here, he's wearing his boots. But me and the A-man, we decided we wanted to wear shoes. Now, you can't trek in, you know, glacier. You can't trek in snow if you have shoes on, unless you have waterproof socks. So what we, we like to trek in shoes. However, on this trail, I mean, unless you're young and spry like Aiden, it's just going to tear up your ankles. So we decided to just, uh, you know, go ahead and, oh, there's the A-man right there. Hey, man. How are your ankles doing? Good. Good? Okay. So there you go. His ankles are doing great. My ankle, my ankle's definitely not doing so great. So if I was to do this again, I definitely would get boots. No doubt about it. Uh, but waterproof. His shoes are not waterproof. My shoes are not waterproof. But we do have waterproof socks. So And we have shoes big enough to where we can put on wool socks, then waterproof socks, then we put on the shoes. And that acts like pretty much a waterproof boot at that point because even if water get, water's going to get in the shoe, but it doesn't make your foot cold because it's still warm and you know inside a nice wool sock so we didn't talk about that on the video but yes we're doing this trek in tennis shoes and i would totally say no problem do this trek in tennis shoes except for the ground and it, how you know rough it is how rough the trail is you just need the ankle support unless you're uh you know unless you got superior ankles and i had i have really good ankles i've never had any ankle problems so, uh, but the ace bandage has definitely been helping. So that's a little piece of advice uh, that I would give you. But if you could, you know, but you can trek in shoes in snow if you have waterproof socks and you can keep your feet warm. I'm trying to get this on film since the start of the trek. How much do you make? Yeah. Today night, morning, today after tomorrow, lunch. Oh, okay. So yeah. like two... One one chapati. Okay. And how many people? 
little bit alone. Oh, just so you making chapati for yourselves? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Huh? Can I taste? Ah. It's very good. Very good. So every couple of days you make more? Yeah. All the way to or two. Oh, okay. No, no, or two, no fire. Only stop. Small chapati. Oh, small chapati. Yeah, yeah. Really? No, no. Huh. This is the main man. This is the main man. This is the main man. Okay, so you grill it on here, yeah, boom, yeah. boom, and then there, and it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Nice. Very clear. She made me now. You roll it. Do you uh, do you leave this metal here at camp, or you take that with you? Yeah, yeah. You take it with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Very nice. I like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. How's the name, my friend? <laughs> Come out of the tent, Wahid and the boys are making stairs. And then who made these stairs here? Me. Oh, nice. Works. Kind of hard to get up, actually. Huh? Said so it was kind of hard to get up before. No, it works. Well done, sir. Oh. I like your rock stacks too. Yeah. This one we did together, but I fell over. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Well, just a little bit. Well, that one be a bit like a couple. Oh, I see a couple rocks down there that might have fallen. Okay.